Gary, at the end of last season, you guided Chippenham into the playoffs. This year, you guided Chippenham further than they've ever been in the FA Cup, further than they've ever been in the FA Trophy. And now you're the manager that's just ended the five-year drought against Bath City last win, 2017. Well done, you. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'll keep it there. <laughs> you can keep it, thank you. An absolutely vintage performance from Chippenham today. We've seen performances on the road. We've seen them at home. They've not quite married up to the results. We've seen you frustrated as you like coming out here in front of the camera every time saying that we can't always make excuses. The result hasn't been there. But today, performance married up and the result was certainly there. A 3-1 win at Twerton Park. Not to be sniffed at. Yeah, look, you know, going back to the original question, we've done well today and I think the, the result or certainly the performances that we've had over the last sort of six, seven games and as, as you said, as the results match that today and uh, you know I didn't really necessarily worry about us in, in games like this you know I thought our mentality was perfect today and then like I said you know um, we, we've played well today um, and, and got our rewards and we probably we probably haven't had that and I've come on and said that all the time but I'm also mindful that, that you know that's that's just one game um, so we can't can't rest on that so it's, it's one game it moves us to where we want to be but we've now got a really really tough game away to, to Braintree on Thursday and then we'll have another tough return leg because you know they, they'll, they'll be hurting today um, same as we've been for the last you know number of weeks so really tough game really pleased that we've managed to you know come on here and say oh, I'm disappointed because we've, we've lost a game of football but I'm really pleased today because we've won a game of football but it is just one game of football Go through the flash points Gaz obviously we went 1-0 down uh, a goal from Scott Wilson um, I think it was a tapping off of uh, a Will Henry spill a couple of chances to clear our lines before and I suppose at that point what goes through your head as a manager then when you've sort of gone through all your preparations and, and suddenly you're 1-0 you're down and you, can't, you haven't really prepped for that and so you've got to try and drag the boys back into a derby game and character I suppose was really one of the big words today yeah, I thought we showed great character to, 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 to come back from it for sure. Um, you know, it, it, it'll sound strange because, again, I've said sort of performances have been good. So because performances have been good, you're always still quite quite comfortable and hopeful because you think, well, that you know, we're, we're more than in the game. Um, like you said, you know, you know, Will's probably has, has said at half-time that I should do better with it. Um, I think, like you said, we, we should have we cleared our lines earlier. Um, and then when we haven't cleared our lines properly, I don't think we've engaged quick enough. Um, so we've allowed the shot to come in, it's skipped off the surface and, and like you say, we'll power it out, um, you know, unfortunately to the one place we don't want it to go. Um, and, and, and like you say, Scott does what, what Scott does and that's, you know, poach from in and around the goal. So, um, but yeah, at that point, I still felt there was plenty of, plenty of uh, football still to be played and I thought that, that we'd be OK in our... Our football at that point probably warranted, you know, being in the being in the game. So uh, yeah, you know, at that point you sort of you are thinking, oh, maybe maybe it's not going to be our day again. But um, yeah, we're pr pr pretty happy. And plenty of football was still to be played, Gary. If you wanted a response to going one 0 down, three goals here at Twerton Park. We've not managed to do that since 2017 when you were part of the playing squad, I believe, still then. Uh, so I suppose three goals in response. You couldn't have asked for more. Obviously, starting with a very quick response from a great move down the right hand side. Alfie delivering for Harry Parsons puts the ball in, and then of course Spencer Hamilton comes up and scores a real captain's goal from a corner. It seems like a bit of a cheap one really from a set piece, but we've got one of those, and they've been going against us a little bit of late. But yeah, we've gone on the right end of that today, and then Jordan camps it off with a with an amazing run and a finish and I suppose that's points in the bag yeah no, no goals are cheap you have to work hard to get your goals at this level um, and, and when people say oh yeah but it's from a set piece you look at goals in every game around today they're all from set pieces or or a lot of the time you have to score from set pieces and you have to defend from set pieces and well, we probably haven't done that well enough of, of late so um, and I don't you know I don't want it to be you know made that you know, maybe because we've scored a set piece, well, we've scored three goals, and I think it wouldn't have flattered us. I say that a couple of times, and you know, if if if, if we'd have scored a couple more if, with the final ball, a couple of times I thought in transition we were really, really, really good going forward, and there's a few times that that Youngie himself got in, Alex Bray got in, Eddie Jones nearly got in, um, you know, Tom Mayu got in. I think you know that was just final ball, a little bit more care. I think we'd have probably you know gone and scored a couple more. Um, you know, they'll probably say the same as well. Most teams do most weeks. Um, but, but yeah, look, I think we were well worth the three points today. And derbies are always a big occasion for supporters, guys. Yeah, I mean, you know that more than anyone, That you know, what it means to those guys behind the goal there and all around. You know, supporters can really be galvanised by results like this. But I suppose for you guys in the management and your playing staff, you sort of share dressing rooms with a lot of these boys. And you know, it must be nice to see old friends again, people like KP, Danny, Jordan, you know, lads that have worn the blue and white over the last couple of years. And although it is great to get the uh, get the one over on them today, it's got to be nice to see these guys again. Yeah, look, I said it all the time. Football's, football's, you know, football's football. If football moves on and players move on and, and whatever else, so, you know, KP was was brilliant for us. He was fantastic for me in my my short time at the end of last year. And you know, he was he was great for for Chippenham. I like think Chippenham would, you know, it was great for him. But football moves on. And he, he, you know, he's he's moved there and he's he's now, you know, he's captain of of, of, of Bar City and he'll go on and you know probably move again at, at some other point, you know. So um, yeah, but you know, to, to answer the question, it's great to see him. You know, Danny and, and as you said, you know, Jordan and those guys and. 
you know, as I said, it's just a non-league football is, is, is that, you know, geographically people are going to move around the clubs and, you know, you could say about all of them, but um, when it's good to see them, you know, you you almost want to put those rival or you do put those rivalries aside for, for 90 minutes because it's, you know, it is a game of football, but you want to win the game, particularly for, like I said, for, for the group, because I think we deserve to, um, but importantly, as I said, the fans, the, you know, the chairman and everybody else connected. And speaking of the fans today, Gary, 2080 uh, packed in here today at Twerton Park. Traditionally, these games are always quite well supported. I haven't checked, but I think it's probably going to be one of the preeminent um, attendance figures in the National League South. With such a period of games coming up now, starting obviously on New Year's Day with the home game against Bath. I'm not sure too many people are going to be uh, heading up to Braintree on a Thursday night, but with a lot of games now coming at home after so long away from home, it's got to be really important to have not only put on a performance, but put on a performance in front of travelling supporters in excess of uh, four or 500 people. It's what encourages them to come back. Yeah, and you know, I, I keep going on about it. Keep going on about our performances, which is which is why we've been sort of, you know, we we've, we've been happy and feels like we haven't played at home forever, really. Certainly in the league. Um, so you know, it's it, it, it's been a shame that at least people haven't been able to see how well we've played, even if if, if results haven't warranted that. But at least you can see what what we've done and you know how we're playing. And um, so look, it was nice that we were close enough for, to actually, um, you know, as I said. You know, Burton aside, have some travelling fans here today, and again, I thought they were they were great today. So I'm just kind of glad that we were able to put on a you know a performance and a result for them, and they hopefully will will, will go home happy. Well, Gary, we'll wrap it up for today, mate. Obviously, you've got a lot of stuff to do. Celebrations, the family are waiting inside, such as Boxing Day. Everyone's brought their families with them. But from all of us here at Blue Army TV and all of us here at Chippenham, I think it's important to state that you always want to pass the credit on to your players, to your management, to your staff, to your chairman. But it's no mean feat coming here three-one win at Ben's Bath City. Last person to do that, 2017. You keep on doing these things right mate and from all of us congratulations Gary Horgan because to be a winning manager here it's not something that Chippenham fans have experienced often so well done thank you no worries mate